Welcome to the Love Your Life Podcast. My name is Stephanie. I'm a health and life coach, fitness enthusiast, entrepreneur, and a triathlete's wife. I am here to share my tips to help you create harmony on all aspects of your life, health, career, spirituality, relationships, and personal development. Every week, you will be inspired to create a life you love and deserve. Hey guys, this is Stephanie and I am super excited to come to you again. Another episode recorded in my new office spot. Unfortunately, I think I hear someone doing some kind of construction stuff in the background. So if you hear a buzzing noise, I do apologize for that. But today, my Miss Little Coco is joining us on today's podcast. She decided to spend the day with her mama over at her new studio space and she's laying right beside me which is um, really great because today I want to talk about self-care mainly because this has been a week where I had to actually take my own medicine like I've always told my clients to honor their bodies really tune into what their body wants and needs And um, to take some time to relax. I have told many people who do like two or three a day workouts that, you know, sometimes it's okay to take the time off and to honor yourself and to take a step back from all the workload that they have done so that they do not get burnt out. Well, (laughs) that is, of course, easier said than done. And as a wellness professional, we are famous for dishing out advice that we need to take ourselves. And this week was a prime example. Uh, In the past couple of weeks, I have been going, go, 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 getting new certifications. Um, Now officially a TRX certified coach, which was amazing. That took me um, a couple of smaller certifications to lead up to this big two-day weekend of um, training for that, studying, and then taking an exam. And from there, I was shooting a ton of content for upcoming programmings that we have such as like our 28 day cleanse so stay tuned for that um, along with content for our seven day um, sugar and carb detox which is free and available for you guys I will leave that information in the description box but I've been like constantly go 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 with my clients um, shooting content um, doing workshops and a lot of stuff. And it's great, absolutely amazing for my business. And I absolutely love it. And this is a season of me going. But eventually, all of that go, 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 no rest. I'm going almost two weeks without taking a day off from exercising. It caught up to me. It, it really caught up to me. Um, muscle soreness, of course, it didn't help that I was also doing Um, and detox myself as you guys know or or if you guys don't know anytime I do a program I always take myself through it first to make sure that um, it's feasible I I don't want to put something out there that is unrealistic for anyone to do so I want to know how my body responds to it so I'm able to guide you guys through it when you guys are going through um, certain parts of the program and you know having some struggles or whatever it may be Um, there's times where mentally it just becomes very hard so I wanted to be able to um, work you guys through that and talk from my own experience so needless to say I was cleansing and I'm like putting on a ton of obligations on my plate when it comes to my business working out all the time really not spending as much time with my family and um, even though my tarot card readings have said you need to get out the books <laughs> you need to spend more time with your family members I really didn't do that you know here and there I would spend time with my friends and whatnot but it definitely caught up to me this week and so I made it a priority this week to really honor myself Yesterday, it was raining a lot, and I had the intention to record a lot of different content, a couple of podcasts, um, 
really kind of knock out some of these programming so that I'll be able to offer to you guys um, soon in the fall. And I had a massive headache. And so I was trying to fight through it. I'm like, oh, I can get through this. I can get through this. I can get through this. I don't want to do any medication. I can get through this. And it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And it was just sinus pressure just building on up. So finally I decided, okay, honor yourself. Take a nap. Like, just take a nap. I told a lot of my contacts. I'm like, I'm not going to be available for the next hour or so. I just need to lay down and take a nap. And I got out of that nap feeling a little bit more refreshed. Headache was still slightly there and ended up asking my mom if she wanted to go out and grab a late lunch. Came back, ran some couple of errands, cooked dinner. I really didn't get much content done for my business, but it was okay because when I did feel the need to want to work on it, which was probably from six until seven, I like focused a lot of my time and my energy into that because I took that time to renew earlier. Um, I also made sure yesterday to book a facial appointment for today, and I'm so glad that I ended up doing that. One of the local um, schools for um, esthetician schools over here was offering a discount on their services, and I like going there for various different things. They have amazing um, facials. They have... Um, a lot of different great spa services, body treatments, along with the Venetian shower, which I love. And I should have probably booked that also today. But I made sure to book it um, first thing in the morning at 9 o'clock in the morning. And my alarm clock went off, as it typically does, at 5.30. And instead of doing my normal morning routine, which episode um, 2 talks about my morning ritual, I decided that I was going to lay in bed. A little bit longer with my husband and it felt really nice to not have to rush and get out of bed and that's exactly what I ended up doing then from there I went downstairs did my hot water with apple cider vinegar lit a candle and rolled out my yoga mat didn't even put on my yoga clothes I was like I'm just gonna do this amazing sacral chakra um, yoga this morning with my pajamas on and it felt great. Um, it felt really great to do a lot of the hip openers. My hips have been really, really tight for sure, especially after doing um, a lot of squats for my TRX certification. So that felt really nice and it felt really great to end it with a very gentle mudra meditation at the end of it and easing out of it. That, that felt really great. Um, and then from there, I went back and made myself a smoothie. I didn't want anything super heavy today. I just was feeling kind of like I don't want to have a lot of heaviness on me and quickly made a smoothie, uh, went upstairs, did my dry brushing before I hopped into the shower and came back downstairs, grabbed my smoothie, drank it and was out the door to go to my facial, which was a 90 minute facial. I typically... Actually, you know what? I don't think I can remember the last time I did a 90-minute facial. Usually, it's 60 minutes, and it felt great. It really felt nice, um, especially because it was at the Veda Institute, so I love their tea. If you have not had the Veda tea, I don't even know what the flavors are, but it's amazing. I love it. I had about two cups of that, um, and my esthetician, she was super sweet. It took about maybe about two hours to get done with it. Yeah, because I got out around 11. But it felt very nice um, and very luxurious to be able to do a 90-minute facial. They had just, I felt like the J treatment on my face. That was very relaxing. Um, the nice neck massage and the decollete massage. That felt very relaxing. Um, everything was just very nice. Ending it with a nice gentle back massage. Um, upper back massage and a hot towel that was very nice that smelled super minty I loved everything about it and it was great to be able to do that and even as I lay there I actually remember that I had booked a massage appointment this upcoming weekend with my godmother to do a 60 minute massage and then a 45 minute um, salt room treatment which I'm excited about because I've never been to a salt room and I've all heard a lot of great things about it. I do use pink Himalayan sea salt lamps around my house and even have one, a couple of them into my office. But I never 
have actually like sat in a salt room to do the detoxification process. So I'm looking forward to that. And it was really great, like a gentle reminder as I was getting my facial done that I had already scheduled this other treatment. And maybe this week was the week that I just needed to sit back and relax and renew and take that time to really focus inward. Um, Self-care is very important. And for those of you who don't practice it that often, you probably find yourself very frazzled. Um, You feel very stressed out. Um, You might feel a little bit tired or even having a hard time like losing weight, going to sleep. You know, a lot of these things are because it's an increase in cortisol. So I find that it's very important, very, very important to practice um, self-care and to practice it almost on a daily basis. Self-care is really a preventative practice and it helps really to boost up your immune system and it's a natural defense against burnout which I believe I was very, very near to, or even a really great defense to prevent um, adrenal fatigue. And it's really knowing that, you know, tuning inwards, finding out what it is that you need to have, um, is attending to your own needs such that you are content, focused, and more motivated and have like your A game, especially yesterday when I tended to that headache. Um, Instead of medicating myself and just powering through it, I decided to take a nap and really honor myself, go and grab some nice lunch, um, a salad and some soup, nothing too heavy. And then when I came back later on, I was focused. I was focused to get some stuff done. Um, But I don't think I would have been as focused and on my A game if I didn't take that time to really honor myself. Um, it's really important to take some of these practices with you on a daily basis or even on a weekly basis. Um, a lot of times people think of self-care as I have to take a bath and I need to, to schedule massages all the time and I don't have the time for that. It's really not about that. It's about finding small little things in your daily ritual or weekly ritual that you can take time out for yourself. Because at the end of the day, if you don't do this, who else is? Like when you're sitting in the hospital and you're sick and your family and your loved ones are depending on you to take care of them, you're not going to be much of help when you are sick because you didn't honor your body when it, when it needed to be honored. Some of the good things that you can do to practice it, to make sure that it is a priority is to put it on your calendar, like in eat. Don't do the pencil thing, um, maybe not even, or like blocking it off on your Google Calendar, whatever kind of calendar app that you might use, and making it a non-negotiable. Like, this is my time that I am doing for self-care, and nothing else is coming in my way. I'm not answering those emails. I'm not answering those phone calls. This is my time. I'm not booking anything else during this time. If I dedicate that this is my time to do something, that's what exactly what I want to do. Uh, And it's okay to do it with your friends. You know, if you want to do something like take a gentle walk outside or do a yoga class with some friends, that's fine. But making sure that you are still doing it and you're not saying like, oh yeah, I'll get to it. I'll get to it one day. Like maybe not this week. This week's really busy. I'll get to it um, one day. Sneaking in a little bit of self-care wherever you can. It could be as simple as just taking five minutes to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. It can really help with your stress levels or going out for a 10-minute walk. Um, another great one is the 557 breath. So really practicing this. You can do it about five times. Um, inhaling for five. So inhale. Let's do it right now. We're going to inhale for five. So inhale for one, two, three four, five, hold for five, one, two, three, four, five, now exhale for seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's practice this one more time, again, it's going to be inhale for five, hold for five, and then exhale for seven, so let's go, inhale for five, one, two, three, four, five, hold for five, one, two, three, four, 
five, and exhale for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other things to do is simply say no. Like your health and your well being comes first. This is this goes back to like scheduling that non negotiable time. Like tell people no. Maybe it's something that's coming up on your schedule and you really don't have the time, the energy, or the resources to do it. Simply say no. And that's the best thing to do. Like speak up for yourself. Too often we don't speak up for ourselves and we let other people make decisions or we're too afraid of hurting someone's feelings. And then at the end of the day, you go to that after work event or whatever it may be, um, and you're drained. Like you really are drained when really what you might need to do is just go home, have a nice meal, watch your favorite TV show, spend time with your family members instead of going out and doing that after work thing where you're drinking and you really didn't have the time to do this and you're staying up late and now your whole rest of your week is just really kind of thrown off. Simply say no. Same thing, you know, saying no to volunteer opportunities. If you don't have the time, like volunteering is great and it really, really is an amazing way to like get back and feel good about it. But if you don't have the time, don't volunteer yourself for stuff. Like it's not going to hurt anyone and you're not going to be the best person at that situation when you are really not fully into it, when you're doing it out of like feeling more like obligated to do it versus feeling really motivated to want to do something. Um, again, always remembering to surround yourself with amazing people that support you all the time. Um, really taking that time to say like, Hey, I need, and asking for help. Like, Hey, I need some help with whatever it may be. Like, could you cook dinner tonight? I did that earlier today where I let my family know like, Hey, on Wednesdays and Thursdays starting next week, I'm going to be very busy. I have classes and workshops that I'm teaching and I'm not going to come home until close to like nine or even like eight o'clock at night at the earliest. I'm going to need you guys to cook dinner. I can't try to worry about cooking dinner prior to all of these things. Like it, it would just be nice if you guys can cook dinner or provide dinner or whatever it may be as long as dinner is on the table where I don't have to worry about throughout the course of the day is how I'm going to get home to cook this meal for you guys. And they took it like, oh, okay. But if I didn't ask that, I would have been frustrated and I would have came home and I would like expecting them to cook dinner without asking them to cook dinner. And I would have been yelling and screaming at them and whatever it may be. And it just wouldn't have been a good thing. So just simply ask. Um, Another great way to add a little bit of self-care, and I talked about this in my morning ritual, is to have um, your day to start off with a glass of water. So take your glass of water, your multivitamins um, to start your day or hot water and apple cider vinegar or tea or whatever it may be. Other things that you can do, and I've talked about this a lot with my clients and a lot on my Facebook Lives, is to eat intuitively. Eating intuitively means to eat based on what you need um, deeply, really tapping into the things that you need. Like the other day, it was, I need a salad and a soup. I don't want anything super heavy. So instead of eating because you feel like, oh, I must eat, you know, X, Y, and Z, really tapping into, are you hungry? What does your body crave? Um, you know, I know you guys are probably like, my body craves donuts. No, <laughs> like, what is it that you really, really want? When your body is craving donuts, are you craving comfort? Are you craving something, a little bit of love? Are you craving something else that's, you know, a little bit of extra sweetness that is not necessarily donuts? Um And then uh, really keeping your space nice and organized, that helps a lot. A lot of people get a lot of anxiety by having the space all messed up. So really tidying up your space around you, having maybe a sacred spot in your house like I do where I have all my crystals, my meditation stuff, and I'm able to just kind of sit there and relax. Um, Devote a day to cooking and cleaning. So for those of you who might not have someone at home that can help you out with this, Maybe it is spending like your Sunday, putting on your favorite music, dancing around your house and, you know, making sure that you're cooking and cleaning that day so that you don't have to worry about it throughout the whole rest of the week. If you have the time, a nice hot bath before you go to bed is great, but I know that's not realistic for a lot of you guys. Maybe doing like a nice gentle yoga session before going to bed to really relax your muscles or taking a nice warm shower and then doing some gentle stretches before going to bed. That's another thing. Um, using natural remedies as often as possible. So instead of trying to go for the medication, like I mentioned yesterday, I had the headache instead of going for medication. I just took the time to, you know, relax, drink some tea, 
um, take a nap. There's various different types of things, essential oils that you can diffuse, various different um, nice herbal um, supplements that you can take. If you have any questions on what to use for whatever your ailment is, reach out to me. You can book a, a consultation with me or you can simply email me at info at fitnesswellnesslife.com and I happy, I'll be happy to give you some suggestions on what you can take for whatever it is that you are dealing with at that current moment, whether it is muscle aches, headaches, um, you know, having a hard time falling asleep, whatever it may be. Um, spending more time with the people you love, even if it means that just being on the phone. Right now, like I said, I'm spending time with my sweet little Coco. She was, when we first started this podcast, sleeping next to me on her bed. Now she's on my lap. You know, I'm spending really quality time with my amazing dog. I've loved her. I've had her for over 11 something years. Um, This evening, I'm going to be spending some quality time with my husband and my mom um, over the course of the weekend, some of my family members and friends. So really spending time with people that you love and making it a priority. I now, and this is really bad, this is how bad it's gotten, you guys, um, where I focus so much on my work that I actually have to send a reminder on my Apple Watch to have family time. That's really, really bad. Please do not get to that point. But if you need to, schedule that. So like I now have little alarm things that go off to remind myself that this is my time block for this, this, and this. Um, And I have time blocked out of time every single day to spend time with my family. Non-negotiable. It it just kind of came to that. Like my, my family was like, you don't spend any time with us. So I had to make sure like when this thing goes off, that's it. No matter what I'm doing, I'm beelining to go spend time with my family. Um, and you guys might think that's kind of crazy, but that's what I need to do to stay motivated and to stay on track to make sure that I do not book something else during that time. And then finally, another recommendation I have for you guys is to take your lunch hour, like really take not just your lunch hour, your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. These are three meals. If you take just 20 minutes a day to have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that's 20 minutes, not a day, sorry, 20 minutes per meal. So 20 minutes for breakfast, 20 minutes for lunch, 20 minutes for dinner. That's just one hour out of your day to take time out for yourself. That means not checking your phone. That means not having a meeting. You can feel free to have it with friends, but really not like reading up on an article or a book, but really shutting down everything and focusing in on what it is that you're eating. That is mindful eating, that's intuitive eating, whatever it is that you want to call it. It's really mindful eating practices to pay attention to what is the texture, the color, the smell, the taste of the food. What is the surroundings like? How does your body feel? How does your body feel when you eat this? How does your body feel 20 minutes after you eat this? Really take that time for yourself. And if if that's the only thing that you do, then great. Like that's your, that is your self-care practice. I don't expect you guys to do, you know, meditations, yoga, mindful eating, um, bubble baths, massages and everything like this and, and going on long rocks on the beach with your dog every single day. Like that's not realistic. But if you take one of these things and you can say like, I know that I can at least journal or I can at least meditate or I can at least like do br- dry brushing or you know, spending time with my family members or cooking ahead of time so I don't have to worry about um, food or mindfully eating my meals and spending one hour a day, so 20 minutes per meal, not doing anything besides eating, that's your self-care practice. And that alone will boost your mood. It will boost up your, um, help with your metabolism a lot. It will Allow your body to let go of any stress. Like, because at the end of the day, you know, cortisol levels causes weight gain and a whole slew of health conditions. So if you can do something to like kind of lower your cortisol, lower that stress, that in it of itself is miraculous. So try just one thing. That's all I ask for. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I really would like to hear from you guys on what is the one thing that you guys try. Um, Feel free to join our Facebook group, Mind, Body, Soul. I will leave the link in the description box and then post in there, you know, what is it, what is your one self-care regimen that you like to do? 
what is the one thing that maybe something that I listed off or maybe something that I didn't list off. I would love to hear from you guys. What is that one thing that you enjoy doing or one thing that you're going to start to do either on a daily basis or a weekly basis or whatever it may be to carve out that time for yourself. So leave that in our private Facebook group. I will leave the link in the description um, box. And as um, being a member of our private Facebook group, you automatically get to sign up for the seven day sugar and carb um, detox. That is a gift from Julie and I for thanking you for signing up into our Mind, Body, Soul Facebook group. So definitely another incentive to join because as soon as you get in there, you will see in the announcement section the link to sign up for that. And um, tons of recipes. We put in meditations. We put in workouts. We really put a lot of content into that to really help you guys out to um, really start a healthy track of getting rid of the sugar and the carbs. And we know that seven days is not enough time to like get over those addictions but it's a nice healthy start for sure and one step forward is better than no steps forward at all right all right so until next time bye for now Thank you for tuning into the Love Your Life podcast. All information and links for this podcast can be found in the show notes. If you like this episode and want to continue the conversation, you can email me at info at fitnesswellnesslife.com. And for more information to living a life you love, follow me on Instagram at fwl underscore Steph and on Facebook at Fitness Wellness Life. As always, you can schedule a free 30-minute call with me by going to www.fitnesswellnesslife.com. Thanks again, and don't forget to tune in next week for another inspiring episode.